Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Exploring Food with Smitty. And I just wanted to come on here and for one thing and wish everybody a happy Easter. And what I'm doing is getting ready to put together my uh, ham for Easter dinner. And what, I'm learned, what I've learned to do over the years is to prep your food in advance and then you're not cooking all day in the kitchen on Easter day. So I have already prepped my stuffing and I have put it in the refrigerator and it's all ready to go into the oven on tomorrow and I'm getting ready to prep my ham. So let me get my stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, my ham has already been prepared. It's a spiral slice ham and I have it getting ready to put it into my cooking bag which is what I love to cook hams in because to me, it retains a lot of the flavor. So to that, I'm gonna start with my ham glaze, brown sugar, pineapple juice, well, pineapple and pineapple juice. So I'm just gonna open this up like so, and I'm gonna pour the juice into my glaze like so now when you're making your ham you can glaze it with whipped whatever you want um i'm not a really sweet sweet ham liker so i try not to put too much of stuff in it so i'm mixing this up and then to this i'm going to add some cloves i'm not going to use the kind you stick in I'm going to use the ground ground clothes. So I'm going to sprinkle a little of this in there. Not put too much there. And just give it a good stir. And then to this, I'm going to add mustard. So I'm going to put in a little bit of mustard. And you can eyeball this. It all depends on, like I said, if you like a really sweet, sweet ham, then you use as much brown sugar as you, li as you like. And me personally, I don't like a sweet, sweet ham. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm. Very good. So. I'm going to go ahead and start. Since my ham is spiral sliced, I'm going to make sure I'm going to move it over. There we go. Since my ham is spiral sliced, I'm going to make sure that I add some of the glaze down into these layers of ham so that it can penetrate into there. So I'm just going to pour some in like so. And as I said, when you're cooking it in a bag, uh, I love cooking ham in a bag. And I'm just using my hands to rub my glaze on. And then what's going to happen is this is going to sit in the refrigerator really. And it's going to get a chance to marinate in this sauce. I'm going to keep putting more on. Like so. And as you can see, it is spiral sliced because you can see the layers starting to fall. So what I'm doing is turning it upside down because I don't want to just get the top part of the ham. I want it all glazed. I'm just letting it all in there. Like so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to remain to re open up my slices of pineapple that I bought. And I'm just gonna Lay them on, like so. 
Now a lot of people put cherries. You can do cherries. Just whatever you like. As I said, it's your ham. So, all this is ready to go. Pour my rest of my juice over. And then what I'm going to do is just take the bag and seal it. It comes with ties, but I know that to me it gets better cooked when I just tie it this way. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is um, take my kitchen shears and I'm just going to snip a couple of holes in there so that it doesn't explode while it's cooking. Like so, like so, and like so. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it into the refrigerator and it's going to sit in there until I get ready to put it in the oven. But then that's one less thing that I have to do. So, for dinner tomorrow, as I said, I did my stuffing earlier. And if you want the stuffing recipe, if you go back through the videos, I have a um, stuffing recipe in there where I use smoked oysters but you don't have to put oysters in yours you can do yours the way you want so our menu for tomorrow is going to be ham and stuffing I love stuffing I don't care when it is 4th of July whenever I just love it we're gonna have ham stuffing and I'm making garlic mashed potatoes let me show you if you've never um, put your garlic in the oven to let it um, bake and then when you get ready to use it all you have to do is break those little bulbs off and squeeze out the garlic so I'm doing garlic mashed potatoes and we're having carrots uh, glazed carrots asparagus and we're having um, oh spinach you know I can't say that word but yeah that's what we're having so it's not a big dinner it's just gonna be Steve and I and uh, Steve, he's been sick, so he's he's recovering from being sick. So I'm giving him a break because usually he cooks a lot of stuff. And then he's going to put on tomorrow, if he feels better, or else I will, some lamb chops. So we're going to have lamb chops with our ham. So I just wanted to come on and say Happy Easter and go over what I'm doing for Easter. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Easter. Um... God is risen. It's going to rise. So, I'll get back with you with more videos. Thank you for watching Exploring Food with Smitty, and God bless you.